Hi, this is Simon Chan and welcome to my network marketing training. Members of my coaching mastermind groups can ask me questions on a weekly basis. And today's question comes from Bruno out of Montreal, Canada. And Bruno asked, uh, when you're about to close a group presentation, what do you do to push to action? How's your closing? So Bruno, when I close, I normally enter the slide uh, that gives the prospect an option whether you're going to one, a two, or a three. Okay, so if you're one, I'll, I'll basically ask the crowd, okay, so now that uh, you watch the presentation, ask yourself, you're either going to be a one, two, or three. If you're one, you're excited, you want to start earning income like the way I have, the other people in this room have. If you're ready to get started, we can help you out. Just let us know. We can help you get started with your training so you can earn income right away. Or number two, if you're interested, we have some questions. Uh, we'll be more than happy to make sure all your questions are answered and so you can start earning income. So just let us know. We'll, you know, pull us, we'll come to you. Uh, we'll work in small groups and work with you one-on-one -on -one to make sure we can help you. And number three, maybe you're, you know, this is not for you. And maybe you just want to try the product. So just maybe this is not for you. And if, if that's the case, hey, we appreciate you coming here. Thank you for your honesty. We don't want to waste your time or our time. Just let us know. Thank you so much for coming. Okay. And so as we end, end this year, you're going to be a one, two, or three. Uh, before, you know, you leave, I want to ask you a couple questions. Okay. If not, and this, for example, we're talking about USANA here, right? If not USANA. The one, I mean, every one of you here, you have your dreams and goals. You have things you want to achieve. The things that you want to do in life that you can't do right now, right? And if not USANA, what are you going to do to help? What are you going to do to help you achieve your dreams and goals? Okay. The second thing is, if not, you know, if not now, then when is it the best time for you to do something to achieve your dreams and goals? And the last question I want to ask you is, if not you then who? Who is going to help you achieve your dreams and goals? Now, I can't answer the first two questions for you, what or when you do. That's all totally up to you. But take my advice. The only person that's going to help you achieve your dreams and goals is yourself. It's up to you to take action. You're the only person that's going to put food on the table for your family and allow you to live the life you want. So please, even if you don't do this, you know, we thank you for coming here, but please take my advice and do something so that you can live the life you deserve. Thank you, everyone. So, Bruno, that's how I close. And then I train the team to, whenever they have the prospects, to group them in. To group them in small groups, or we call the mom, the meeting after the meeting. The meeting after the meeting is the most important meeting, and that's when, you, you, you know, that's when the questions get answered or you sign up people. So, if I'm next to my guest, I immediately turn to him and start talking, asking questions, right? If it's a new associate and I'm a speaker and I know that person's new, I know that person's not going to be able to answer questions, needs help. I will go to that person. Now, if it's a one or two distributors who are interested and they're all from new distributors and they, won't, they, might, they may not be able to answer all the questions, I will bring one or two of them, another two there, put them in a small table and you know, sit in a circle and I'll start answering the questions. Okay, that is uh, the most important part of the meetings, the mom, the meeting after the meeting. And then the ones who are not interested, you know, we have people who thank them, they can leave. But we don't want them to ask these questions or like negative negativity, or oh, these are one of those pyramid schemes, or start asking questions that are so loud that it will influence other people. And once I stop too, the music goes up. It was high energy, right? Because if, if you know, think about it. If th there's no music, I can whisper. Have you ever been to a restaurant that was dead silence, no music? You can basically whisper. You can hear a mouse, right? Low energy, right? It doesn't get excited. But if it's like loud, like, you know, for example, any type of dance music, you know, if you're young, trans, hip hop, whatever music out there, that's up, it's also uplifting music. I have naturally have to raise my voice to talk louder. And when you raise your voice, that gets the energy up. It also drowns out all the negative people they can leave. So that is how I will close and push people to action. Okay, I end with that question saying that, hey, it doesn't matter if you, even if you don't do this, you got to do something. And normally when people start thinking about that, they realize they got to do something. And even if they don't sign up on the spot, then they go back home, they'll start thinking about, hey, I didn't join the other day. You know, John, Bruno invited me. I wonder how he's doing. And as long as you stay in the business, they'll always remember that question. Hey, I got to do something. It's up to me. I got to take action. No one else will help me. And as long as you stay in the business, your prospects sooner or later will come to you. Right. They'll come to you, they'll, uh, and even the ones who don't sign up on the spot, they think about signing up, they'll come back to you. 
All right, Bruno, so that's how I close. Uh, I close in those questions, and then, and then we everyone breaks into small groups to help answer questions to do the sign-ups there. Okay? I don't give out the forms to sign up. Um, we do the mom, the small group meetings afterwards. So again, the mom's the meeting after the meeting. Uh, we turn aside, and we start um, you know, answering the questions, breaking into small groups, and that's where the sign-up happens. All right, everyone. I uh, hope that helps, Bruno. Let me know if you have any other questions. And for every, all you out there, thank you for watching. Uh, the meeting after the meeting. I'll, I'll write a blog post about that soon, too. That's probably the most critical parts of a group presentation. It's when you have to get back. Because the meet, great big meeting, you listen to the speaker. Once the smaller meeting after the meeting, you get the personal touch, personal interaction with your prospect again. And you can really address their needs and find out how you can help them uh, get started and change their lives. All right, everyone. This is Simon Chan. See you guys next time. Take care.